Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Adam Kaplan. Uh, I'm a project engineer at HydroComp, and I'd like to welcome you all to this free HydroComp webinar. Um, we're going to go through uh, PropCAD 2014, uh, the newest version of our propeller uh, design tool for creating propeller geometry, 3D CAD and CAM files, 2D drawings, and offset reports. Um, if there's any questions at any time, uh, please let them in the chat window. If they're relevant to what I'm talking, I'll, I'll address them at that time. And uh, if not, I'll address all questions at the end. The objective of this webinar is to debut the new interface and capabilities for PropCAD 2014. This version of PropCAD is a substantial update from the 2011 version. Uh, however, you'll see that the propeller creation process is, is very much the same. Before we get started, I just wanted to uh, mention that we will be having a PropCAD best practices training before the Met show in Amsterdam on the 17th of November. You can find more information about that on our website, uh, hydrocompinc.com slash PropCAD best practices. Uh, and there's a registration page there and it gives you the curriculum and the changes in the new PropCAD version. I just wanna mention that before we get started here. Uh, first, let me quickly review the, the PropCAD 2014 interface. I'm going to pull it up on the screen here so that you all can see this. The table on the left is the parameters table. This contains the major design characteristics, such as diameter, pitch, uh, rake, and hub diameter. It also contains the rotation direction, number of blades, and the type of the propeller. This is basically the main characteristics of the PropCAD design, and you can easily quickly change these characteristics to generate a new propeller. In the middle here, we have what we refer to as the summary table. This shows a, a quick snapshot of the major characteristic or the derived characteristics of the propeller. Um, we can see the total skew angle. We can see the calculated blade area ratio. We can see the weight of the propeller, and we can see the mean pitch of the propeller uh, all quickly without looking to the drawing or anything else. On the left, we have the display port. This holds our 3D rendering, our 2D drawing, as well as our 2D graphs. And we'll go through this extensively during the webinar here. Along the bottom of the interface is the sections table, which contains all the distributions of radial data. We can expand this table to see a larger portion of the radial positions. In PropCAD 2014, there are a number of ways to define a new propeller. We could fill in the geometry completely from scratch for a completely custom propeller. We could allow PropCAD to automatically build a standard propeller from a library series with your design parameters. We could open an existing PropCAD project and build a new propeller based on this template. We could import an IDF file that contains all the design data and then set our, our basic properties such as diameter and pitch. Or we could modify and create a propeller by importing custom distributions. Today, we will start using PropCAD to build a standard B-Series style propeller. The B-Series propeller is one of the most popular styles of propellers ever developed. Its design is Dutch in origin and is a standard offering of many propeller manufacturers. For this example, we will build a typical four-bladed B-Series of 0.65 expanded area ratio. The first thing I'm going to do is start a new project using the toolbar at the top. This project is currently in millimeters and I'd like to change the units. So I'll use the units uh, dialog box to set my units to uh, imperial units here. I, because this is a smaller propeller, I'm gonna want weight in pounds. So I'll set the weight to pounds. The density is already set correctly. My prop length will be in inches and all other length units such as the length of a vessel will be in feet. I hit OK to accept. I can now enter in some information about the project. I'll give it an ID, such as 2014 webinar.
I'll now set it as a four bladed propeller with 20 inches diameter, 20 inches nominal pitch, and 10 degrees of rake. I'll set my hub diameter to be 3.6 inches. Down below is a notes field that I can include anything such as uh, pattern IDs or any other product line information I want to include. For now, I'll just put a sample note here. I can see my sections table is empty. Uh, for those of you who have used PropCAD 2011, you'll be familiar with the builder. The builder here contains all contains the recipe for our propeller. It is organized into settings for particular distributions, uh, settings for radial distributions of cord thickness, etc. The leftmost table refers to the general radial distributions. The middle table references data that creates section shapes, such as max thickness, the section type, and the edge thickness. The rightmost table holds section modifications that can be added to library propeller, such as curvature corrections, additional face camber, or trailing edge cupping. Generating a standard library propeller can be done very quickly. Using the new presets feature in PropCAD 2014, we can quickly select a standard library propeller and set all the dependent fields with one mouse click. So what we'll do is we'll drop the preset down and select B series. This will automatically set all of our cord uh, skew section distributions to the standard B series value. I'm gonna simply define the nose radius and I'm also gonna set my expanded area ratio to 0.65. We can now hit OK to build a standard B-series propeller. Let's review our data. In the display port, we can see our 3D model here, and we can get a preview of the propeller. The uh, 3D view now features hardware acceleration and anti-aliasing. As, uh, you can see here there's a new uh, smoothing that creates a, a better rendering here. I'll turn it back on. Additionally, in PropCAD 2014, we can export JPEGs and videos of the 3D window. We can it and save these as an AVI for instance, if we wanted to uh, record an animation of the 3D window. Let's continue on to the 2D drawing. The 2D drawing is automatically generated after we uh, finish in the builder. PropCAD allows the user to quickly customize the drawing by editing the 2D elements. Here we can enable and disable different elements of the view with a simple click of the mouse. So because the sections are so dense at the tip, we may want to turn off a few of these extra sections in the drawing. We can hit OK. The drawing will automatically regenerate without the sections here. We can quickly turn off uh, views that we do not want to be included in the drawing. Um, and we can also edit our title block and principal characteristics information in here. A new part of 2014 is a new graphing mode. This is uh, used to smooth distributions and also view the offsets. We can change the different graphs by clicking the headers of each column. Additionally, in PropCAD 2014, there's a new uh, graph preset called Plot Blade Outline and Plot Thickness Profile. We can use these to edit the outline of the propeller in real time. We can also view our section offsets here. The, the graph is fully interactive and you can move things around, zoom in and zoom out. 
very easily. The last section of the display view that we haven't reviewed yet is the reports view. This is where we can generate our offset and classification reports. The reports will show up in the viewport here. And we can export them as PDF, CSV, or .doc formats. We've now all seen a basic introduction to PropCAD 2014. I'd like to take this time real quick to remind everyone that we're hosting an upcoming PropCAD training on November 17th in Amsterdam before the Met show. Uh, we can go through a lot more in a full training and we'll focus heavily on some of the advanced features of PropCAD 2014 that we can't go through in this quick webinar. Uh, but I'd still like to touch on a few more of the features of the builder. For many designs, PropCAD standard library propellers will fully meet your design requirements. At some point, however, you will likely want to customize a design for some special need. Let's now see how easily it is to modify a design in PropCAD 2014. Let's reopen the builder. We will adjust the pitch and outline distributions to make it a slightly more contemporary design. The first thing we're gonna do is change our pitch distribution to a high performance, which will unload the tip. We'll next change the outline distribution to a slightly different form, a BB series outline. We'll also change the blade area ratio to 0 0.55, just to generate a slightly different look to the propeller. Lastly, we'll set our skew outline our skew distribution to be a BB series skew as well. We hit OK to accept the changes and our new propeller is generated. It's very quick to go in and change the values of these distributions. For instance, we can add a little more skew in here very quickly just by changing the magnitude of the skew at the tip. And we'll see that our, our new propeller will have more skew introduced into the design. I also wanted to quickly show you some of the section modifications we can do. I'm going to change this to a standard GON propeller. I use the preset to preset all the builder data to a GON style propeller. What I'm now going to do is add some cup to the trailing edge. I set the cup definition to be parametric. I set a cup drop of 0.2 inches. I'm gonna set the cup fairing to be completely fared out at 1.0 at the tip. It will start fairing out at 0.8. The cup will be fully fared from 0.8 to 0.6 and will completely be unfared at 0.2. This fairing, I can show you an example of what we mean by fairing here. So we'll fare the cup from 0 0.2 to 0 0.6. We'll have full cup from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8, and then we'll fare the cup out from 0 0.8 to 1.0. I hit OK to accept these changes. I can now see my gone propeller, and if I look at my section shapes, I can see the cup here. You'll also notice that in some of the sections, you can see the original offsets before the section modification shown in gray here. I can show our new zoom tools in order to show you kind of the difference. Here's the original offsets, and here's the offsets with the cup introduced. A big change from PropCAD 2011 to PropCAD 2014 is the parametric builder. We're no longer able to uh, in PropCAD 2011, it was very much a one-way process. So we used the builder to build a propeller. We added cup, and these changes were not able to be undone. Any modifications that we did manually were not reflected in the builder. In 2014, everything is locked unless it is explicitly set to be entered. For instance, some of our new uh, smoothing tools I want to show you would require us to actually manipulate 
some of our distributions. So let's open the builder now and show how easy it is to enter our own data. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to the B-series style propeller. I'm going to accept these changes quickly. And now if I wanna enter my own data here, I can simply change the radial distribution to entered. And if I wanna enter my own core data here, I can set the core definition to entered. When I hit OK, both radial distribution and cord are now unlocked in the table here. So we can edit these values. The first thing I want to do is insert a section into the blade to make the blade intersect with the hub. So I'll go to my point two and I'll add a section to the table. I'll insert a point one five radial position. I'll rebuild my propeller with the new data. And we can see that the um, new section has been added and now the blade intersects with the hub. If we wanna edit uh, a value in our table here, we can just double click it and set the value that we want. We can see that the uh, changes in our distribution reflected immediately in our graph. There are many new tools in PropCAD 2014 to allow you to manipulate these distributions. The tools are shown here on the left. We can shift the column, scale the column, fit the current cell or smooth the entire data. Let's just fit the cell for now. We get a preview of where the new point will be and we see the old data point shown in red. We can change some options on the spline right here just by uh, clicking through these menus and we can accept or cancel the changes. We accept the change and the outline looks uh, like it did before. We can also smooth entire columns. If I change this value real quick and I smooth the column, we have different options here. We can have a basic, a loose, a moderate, or a tight fit. If we're, accept, if we're happy with the fit, we can accept the, the changes. This sets the entire column of data to the new curve that's been fit. When we're happy with this data, we can just lock the data. We can see these changes reflected in the builder. Once we're happy with our propeller model, we can export to a CAD or CAM format. New in PropCAD 2014 is an IGIS export. I'll save the propeller as an IGIS to show you the sample. We can also export our, our propeller in any, uh, in different densities of uh, radial positions in case we had a highly curved propeller that needed uh, more definition. I hit OK to export the propeller. I'm now going to pull up our CAD tool to show you what the import looks like. Here's the file that we just exported. I'd also like to show you a few of the new uh, hub detail features. For instance, uh, in some CAD packages, it's very difficult to add a fillet here. 
with our new hub data, we can actually add the fillet very easily. Um, we can easily change this to a, a half inch fillet and hit OK to generate it. We'll refresh our model and we can see our fillet. We can also include the fillet as a surface when we export the IGES file. When we're done, we can save the project and open it later as a template um, or as a, a parent project for another propeller. We've gone through all the typical steps to create a propeller design in PropCAD 2014. I wanna thank everyone who is able to join us and I wanna quickly address any questions that were sent through the text window. I will now open up the microphone for the attendees to ask questions as well. Are there any questions that I can answer? Needed. Sorry about that. I was uh, answering questions with the mic muted here. Uh, let me first talk about Barack's question here. The tip of the IGES propeller, we do have a new uh, CAD friendly tip option. And uh, that option uh, is, is to optimize the tip section for uh, curvature considerations in CAD. Now, we're using the regular tip option here, but you can see that it's a bullet shape. This bullet shape is to enable uh, curvature on the leading edge, but also maintain a finite flat trailing edge. And that's the reason for the shape here. Um, I'm not sure if there's another question about that, Barack. If you do, you can uh, ask in the chat window or you can email me or we can discuss it in further. Uh, for Ben's question, when you extend the cord length, will the trailing edge stay put or do you have to subtract from the skew? You'll still have to subtract from the skew for what you're trying to do here. Um, but what you'll find useful is this new blade outline view. And if we set the cord to be entered, we can change these values here. So I can expand this, this cord length here. And I can change, I can do the same thing with the skew. So I can see that I need to center this. I need to move it over a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll actually increase the skew a small amount. And I can see the changes Oops. right away. 
So in this sense, you could you could manipulate your outline um, by changing skew and 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 cord length. We set this all back to parametric here. Is it solid data or surfaces with root fillets? In the case of the Aegis, these are all individual surfaces. Um, for some of our other product, uh, or some of our other CAD CAM exports, Barack, such as the SolidWorks export, it will um, connect the surfaces into a watertight solid and add the fillet as a solid. But in the Aegis format, it's all surfaces. Oh, of course, yes. Um, are there any other questions from anyone else that I can answer? Uh, again, before we before I close here, um, of course, if anyone has any questions, they can email us. They can call in. Uh, I'm here if you have anything that you want to inquire about. I'd also like to take a, a, the chance again to remind you about the PropCAD training coming up in Amsterdam on the 17th of November. Um, a, it will be a great class. We'll go through the in and out of PropCAD. Uh, we'll also talk about scan converter and um, creating our own custom files, our custom distributions and custom templates. Um, the other thing is we'll, we'll be in NMPA for Las Vegas and uh, we'll be giving a few sample presentations. There'll be some information on our website. I encourage you to, to check at hydrocompinc.com to see what we're doing. And lastly, uh, PropCAD 2014 is, is currently in a limited release. If you're not using PropCAD 2014 and you'd like to be, please send us an email and we can get you set up running a new uh, limited release PropCAD 2014. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for showing up. It's It's been a pleasure for me to present this to you, and I, I hope to work with all of you shortly. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you soon.